How you guys doing? So today I'm in a simulator, a uh, virtual machine, and I'm uh, using Linux NC 2.9 in Debian 12. And you can see over here, this is not a real machine, it's just uh, simulating. But yeah, this stuff's really cool for like simulating and, and testing out G-code and stuff and seeing if it'll run on your machine. Uh, but what I'm going to be using it for is to uh, remotely control Linux CNC. So I have here in uh, uh, Visual Studio Code some Python code, and I'm I'm loading in Linux CNC, and I'm uh, you know eventually I'm over here. I'm running some commands and sending some commands to uh, Linux CNC over uh, well through MDI mode. And I'll just show you what this looks like. So what it does is it goes down and it's just drawing a bunch of circles right now. So it moves down, makes some circles, moves up, and then it just goes to the next one. And it does it in a few loops over here, X and Y. And uh, yeah, so what I'm going to be doing is using this for, let me load up the laser level webcam tool. This won't work properly because it's in a virtual machine and it can't see the the host uh, system's webcam. But uh, with this, this gives me very accurate measurements of height. And uh, what I can use is, uh, instead of using like the laser level, I'm gonna be doing it a little better with a, a, like a straight laser through like a, a pinhole and then a, a power lens to make a linear line. And then that should give me a much, you know, cleaner flat plane, and uh, like that's on the, all that stuff would be static. And then on the CNC machine itself, on the Z assembly, I'll have the webcam, and then I'll have the webcam on its own rail, so it can move independently of the the Z value. And uh, I'll also have it spring loaded. So as as the webcam goes down. Um, it'll be spring loaded so I can push it straight down onto the surface and I'll probably use like a small ball bearing and then use that as a you know where I'm going to be measuring from and what I what I'll do is I'll be able to pinpoint and, and measure each center of these circles and then find out the the real world height of that not in the space of the machine because the machine is not like it's not this accurate in, in terms of like you know, I've tried to make the machine pretty good, but it's it's not going to be as you know it's not going to be down to the microns where this tool can measure. So the process would be to take a measurement, uh, find its offset, and then I would then take a end mill that's loaded in, and then I would go down and I would drill out that section and make that section flat, and then just repeat the process in a loop, and then you know eventually a grid. And then that would give me a quite a flat surface, flatter than what the machine could make on its own. Uh, but I could take it one step further, where instead of using an end mill, I could use a rotary disc with a rubber backing, and I could go down and then um, run the disc for like a second or two, and then uh, then repeat uh, checking that that height and then keep on doing that in like a while loop eventually until I can get that to like some zero value and then I could do that through all of them and like that could be a second pass of this whole system and then like that should give me like a truly flat surface uh, I, I could imagine it, it would be as surface like as a like as a granite reference plate I think um, if everything goes right uh, this whole process, like you could, you could even go further. You could even do like, uh, you know, instead of like you do your your milling and then your sanding, and then you could do like a polishing phase if you really wanted to go crazy with that. But I think the system would be sound for that. Uh, what I would have to do is uh, I'll be taking the laser level webcam tool, and uh, yeah, if you if you need to know where the code is for this. It is over here on my GitHub once it loads up. And I recently have this set up on pip right now. 
So it's really easy to install now. You just pip install and then from the command line you can just run it that way. And if you want to know further about how this works, um, you can see a YouTube video here and this will just go through the process of me using it. And I'm in this case I'm using it for trying to get the surfaces on my gantry flat. Uh, but you know when you automate that whole setup it could be used for actually producing a flat surface instead of a straight line. So that's where I am with things. Um, this is all still very new. It's just kind of prototyping right now. And uh, haven't, I haven't built the hardware for the webcam to be like spring loaded so I can push onto the surface. Um, on another channel, uh, XYZ Spec, he's got a, he's got a hype probe on uh, the, basically the same thing I want to do. So I might look at his design and see how he's doing that. And I, I think that's a really good way of doing it. He's running on a linear rail and uh, yeah, controlling it that way. And what I would be doing is, is taking the webcam and I'd be like using the webcam as a sensor and that would be spring loaded. So I could just go down as long as I preload the spring, I'll know that the webcam is on the actual surface. And then I can take my offsets from that position. And, uh, yeah, so that's where I'm with this. Uh, yeah, stay tuned for more um, of this, and uh, I will see you guys next time.